Hi, my name is Mr. Dr. Professor Escobar, but you can call me Dr. Escobar. What you're about to witness is a skit based on phenobarbital and its uses, particularly with alcohol withdrawals and delirium tremors. What's up, bro? What are you doing tonight? I don't have any plans. What's up? I'm trying to get some drinks at the new round one. Uh... I don't know. Should I go out tonight? It's been a while since I've drank. Ah, uh, no. I quit drinking. Yeah, screw it. I'll go. I feel like I'm in a commercial right now for some reason. I'm not as itchy as usual. Something like that. <laughs> if not, you know, we could always do something else. You know what? I'll do whatever you want to do. Ooh, my yeah. boy, my boy, bro. I get lit. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about like drinking so the withdrawals go away? Like, this is no, this is like lemonade. Oh, I don't know. Like I need to stop drinking. <laughs> yeah, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. Mm. Alcohol. <laughs> like this is like virgin lemonade. Like. Mm. Oh man. Oh, we're having fun today, huh? Yeah, except you've been shaking like uh -huh. crazy, bro. You look, you're looking, <laughs> tweaking out, bro. You've been tweaking okay. out all day. Have you seen Shakira lately? What's up? I just, dude, do you see that boat right there? I think that's Dr. Escobar. Dr. What's Escobar, up? is that you? Oh. oh, he's on the phone. What's up? What's going on, John? Oh, man, it's my doctor friend. I needed you. Oh, hey, man. How's everything going? Dude, it's been rough. It's been like, I quit drinking like two days ago, and mm -hmm. I've been having tremors every single day. Hey, is there anything you can do to help me out? <clears throat> well... I normally wouldn't recommend this for someone who's... <laughs> Have you tried anything recently to try and help with the tremors at all? No, I haven't. So maybe like guided imagery? I was thinking about like your butt, but... It wasn't working. Guided imagery is stupid. Let me tell you what you need, all right? Conveniently, I have this right in my car. Phenobarbital. What is that? Phenobarbital. It's a drug that we use every once in a while for people who have delirium tremble, tremble. Oh my God. <laughs> delirium tremors from alcohol withdrawal. Do you want to try one? Uh, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> hey, thank you. Can't wait to try this. Mm. And then, no, not me. <laughs> Oh man, thank you, Dr. Escobar. <laughs> Whoa, I'm John. <laughs> oh. Are you feeling any better right now? It's been like a week since I started taking phenobarbital and I yeah. feel so much better. That's good. I mean, man. look at my hands. They're not shaking. Um, yeah. They're what? I'm not shaking no more. Look at me. I'm playing bowling. You're playing bowling. Yeah, I'm Easy. back to 100%. Easy. Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and utilize the whiteboard. What exactly is phenobarbital? Well, to start off, phenobarbital is a barbiturate and because of that has uses as an anti uses as an anti-convulsive part of the way that it does this is keeps chlorine channels open for longer. And the effect that this has on the central nervous system is that it depresses the central nervous system. 
As we talked earlier, phenobarbital is a central nervous system depressant. So it has a few uses. The first of which, as my lovely lab assistant is going to demonstrate, is with seizures. And according to this study, it is even shown effective in neonates. Furthermore, because it is a central nervous system depressant, this may also help with cases of insomnia. And furthermore, as other research indicates, has uses in delirium treble tremors caused by alcohol withdrawals. So let's go ahead and talk about the side effects, right? We've got a little bit of drowsiness, some headaches. You might experience some dizziness. Uh, if you're a child and you're taking phenobarbital, you might experience some level of excitement or increased uh, behavior. And two common side effects that you'll experience with pretty much any drug. Uh, nausea and vomiting. I thought we did. Overdosing on phenobarbital may look like a couple of different things. First of which, you may have blurred vision. Second of which, you might be in a coma. You also might have confusion, dizziness, drowsiness, nausea. You may develop a rash. Furthermore, you might go into shock from low blood pressure. You may have slowed breathing. You might be in a stupor. You also might have slowed speech, weakness, and uncoordinated movement we call ataxia. So, who shouldn't take phenobarbital? Well, let me go ahead and start off by saying if you have a barbiturate sensitivity, you probably should not be taking phenobarbital. Furthermore, if you have a history of addictions, one popular example is benzodiazepines, you should probably refrain from phenobarbital. One of the main reasons is that phenobarbital is an addictive substance, so it wouldn't be all too productive. Next, people who use oral contraceptives because this may result in an unwanted pregnancy like that guy over there. Furthermore, phenobarbital can also depress your respiratory system. So anyone who has underlying respiratory problems probably shouldn't take phenobarbital. And finally, don't take with alcohol. It's kind of the whole point. Very good. Question time. What are some conditions phenobarbital should be used for? Select all that apply. A, insomnia. B, seizures. C, alcohol withdrawals. D, monkeypox. E, Ebola. Answers A, B, and C are correct. So the rationale behind it is that CNS depressants may have a sedative effect and can also be used to treat certain withdrawals and seizures. Which of the following patients should not take phenobarbital? A, a neonate with reoccurring seizures. B, a patient with reoccurring seizures. That's the same answer. C, um, a patient with a history of alcoholism, or D, a patient with insomnia. If you picked anything besides C, you're dead wrong. C is the correct answer because you're not supposed to take phenobarbital if you are an alcoholic or abuse drugs. All other scenarios are approved indications.